I've been journaling ever since I watched Virgil and Diary at the age of 10. I've been an inappropriate age to watch the movie. Ever since then, I gently nudge my friends to try journaling as well, but they always say that they either don't have the time or they don't have the means or they just don't know what to write. In today's video, I'm going to show you a few simple ways of how to incorporate journaling into your already existing planner routine. It's really easy and I think it's such a beautiful first step to combine everything that journaling and planning has to offer. I know it can be a bit daunting to start journaling. You can feel like you won't know what to write or that there's not enough time to fit it in. I've fallen for that too. When I don't journal for a few weeks and have to make up for all the days missed, I spend so much time on that then. But it doesn't have to be that way. That's why if you're just starting out and want to document more but don't want to fully commit, I suggest just start small and use one page a month. I love using these currently pages or empty pages for each month in the Happy Planner. I'm sure every planner should have one of these. For Mays, I've decided to add these boxes and florals from Planet Darby on Etsy. And I thought I'd fill each box with an event or a special day that happened as well as some general overview of what stood out in the month. Even if you don't have anything going on that month, which I almost never do, you could add some categories like work, friendships, relationships, food, TV shows, books, or anything that's caught your attention. Just journal about that. I feel like sometimes it's even better to keep the mundane things as if something big happened, you're bound to remember it anyway. Now the next step from one overview page is to start jotting something little every day. Even if it is just a sentence or a highlight, or even one small thing that made you happy that day, be it a coffee or a scene, a movie, anything. I love using the monthly pages for that. I used to write little highlights every day, or just one line a day to note down the main theme of the day. I feel like if you start at the end of each day and find one thing that's happened to note down that slows down time in the way, as each day is a bit more mindful. I always feel like the time flies so much quicker when all days blend into one and this is an easy way to differentiate them a little bit. It really could be anything. If you're struggling to think of one thing, imagine someone asks how was your day and after you said it, it's been fine and they insisted, you came up with something to say. Just note that down. I've also added a section for the monthly highlight and that too, similar to the previous page. I feel like it's quite hard to find one little line though, at least for me. That's why the next step is to just add a little bit of journaling into your already existing planner spreads. It could be as little as a TV show you watched or a book you finished or what you made for dinner that night. But if you don't actually have that many plans, you can dedicate a space for it. Add a box on the sidebar or a few boxes throughout the spread just as I did with this one. Or even dedicate one role for journaling in these happy planners. I just add whatever I was doing that day or how work went or if I did anything special or even a small rant. I've binge watched Firefly Lane through the weekend. Nearly finished now so added that too as I'll sure want to remember watching it. I've also put my workouts and how I'm feeling running. Just little things like that. Finally, you can look into getting a separate planner for journaling only or of course you can get a journal but with the planner you can take the pages out and combine them both in one notebook which is an added bonus. I was recently experimenting with these skinny planners as I never know what purpose I can stick with. I've been using it for gratitude but I sometimes add gratitude on my spreads or the daily journal so it's not just been 100% gratitude. I quite like it for journaling though, as it's not that big of a space to fill, especially when adding the stickers and making it all pretty. It's good to catch up on my journaling all at once, if I missed a week, if it's been too busy, just jot down a few sentences. I'll get more into my daily journal spreads in the next video, I've been keeping up with it pretty well and having a dedicated page for each day, but I do like these skinny spreads, I can just add on whenever I skip a week. I might even downgrade to a little journal as I love using the big one but it's just a bit too much if I miss a day or two, it becomes a lot. Thank you guys so much for watching, I really appreciate it. I hope that encouraged you to try journaling for yourselves. If you like this video, be sure to check this one out where I show 5 ways to have a track in your planners. Thanks so much again and I'll see you in the next craft session.